uh, can you give us quick tips um, whether what's the purpose of the prenuptial agreement? No, pre prenuptial agreement is valid only during lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 you know, the the woman and the man would enter into prenuptial. Let's say the prenuptial arrangement agreed upon is complete separation of property. So meaning kanya kanya sila. But they will contribute to common expense ng kanilang ano, regime of partnership. So, when you acquire property, uh, pera mo yon. When you dispose, hindi mo, you don't need to get the consent of the other spouse. Okay. So, that's a complete separation. Uh, but um, most often, uh, in a uh, you know, Philippine setting is that when you ask, for example, the girl, uh, who is not rich to sign a prenuptial agreement, you know, ma-open yun eh, pati yung family niya. Sabi niya, eh kung wala naman tiwala sa iyo, sa umpisa pa lang, di ba, wala din tiwala yan, pagkasal na kayo. So, wag mo nalang ituloy. So, kung ikaw, for example, uh, hindi ka sigurado dun sa mapapangasawa na anak mo, and uh, of course, and asking them to sign a prenuptial agreement might result into, you know, uh, cancellation of wedding. Right? So what do you do? So, kaya sinabi ko sa iyo kanina, trust is the superstar. Trust can do many things. Ang last will and testament can only do one thing, transfer property at death. But ang trust has so many diversified purpose. You have a special child, transfer property at death. Pwede siya maging prenuptial trust or marital trust. So for example, hindi ba? Uh, itong uh, itong uh, parents, ng lalaki, right? Instead of you know, transferring the property sa kanyang anak na lalaki. Kasi pag transfer niya ngayon at anak niya lalaki gets married to this woman, uh, magiging 50-50 owner na silang dalawa under absolute community of partnership. Diba? That's in the family code. So, ang gagawin mo, instead of transferring the property to your son before marriage, ang ginagawa ng iba, ita transfer yung property after marriage, pero through a deed of donation. Ilalagay lang kay son married to the woman, hindi to son and woman. Para sa si son lang. Pero sabi ko nga sa iyo, ang prenup is valid only during lifetime. If the son dies, the woman inherits. And the woman marries again. Right? So there's a possibility that the property of the parents would go to a stranger. So mawala sa bloodline. So kaya anong gagawin mo ngayon to ensure that it goes along the bloodline? It's through the use of trust. So, for example, dito, si parents uh, will create a trust open sa isang credible bank as trustee. Nilagay niya doon like uh, David Family Trust, right? Trustee is yung bank X, right? Uh, ngayon, if David dies, right, ito tayo, then uh, the property will go to your, actually, uh, the child of David. Kasi ikaw yung anak, ha? Assume natin, ikaw yung anak. Okay, pinamanahan ka ng parents mo, uh, so bago ka mag-asawa. Pero may condition ng parents mo that uh, pag namatay ka, right, mapupunta yan sa anak mo, hindi doon sa asawa mo. Or mapupunta doon sa anak na anak mo, so along the bloodline. Still, we uh, like oh, oh. stranger. Yes, pero yung, yung wordings ng trust, uh, sensitive yan. So you're, you, you make sure that it follows the law. Mm, kaya sensitive, kaya you need a very good lawyer mm -hmm. to actually to drop the document. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in directly to the Driven Today podcast. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe directly to my YouTube channel. That's David Angway, Registered Financial Planner. And click the bell button so that we can go ahead and share with you our very latest episodes.